Hi everyone, Rick Bray with BT BOCES, and in this video, I'd like to share with you how to send out your form. All right, so your Google form is all set, it's ready to go, and you're ready for people to start answering your questions. Well, the way you get your form to your audience is by clicking in the upper right-hand corner, this button, Send. That'll bring up a pop-up window, and it gives you three ways to send your form out. It's kind of more than that, but you can send it out via email is the first choice. You'll simply type in the people that you want answering this. You'll type in their email there. You have the option of adding a subject and a message to the email should you choose. If that's what you want to do, great hit send in the bottom right hand corner. Now this is good again if you have maybe a, a small number, less than 10 people that you want to share this with because you have to enter email addresses individually. Another way to do it, which might be a little more effective, is to click on this second icon of a chain link. And that gives you a link that you can now copy and post into your Schoology page or into your email, whatever the case may be. But you simply copy that link and then paste it wherever you want to send it. Schoology, email, whatever the case may be. Uh, the third option is to embed the form. So this will allow you to, if you have a web page or even your Schoology page, you can embed the form directly in there. I do suggest avoiding this option only because it's a little complicated sometimes for your audience to follow and, and see all the questions. So I would suggest uh, above all other choices, sending out the link whenever possible. You'll see on the right-hand side, I can also share this by Google+, Plus if that's applicable, Facebook, or Twitter. Now, just a couple things to, well, one main thing to look at is this box uh, choice here in the top. Automatically collect respondents btboces.org username or whatever your domain is. If you're using a GAF account, uh, this is going to make it so it automatically collects the name the username of the person answering. So this is a way to get around having uh, your students have to put their name in to a survey. However, and it also makes sure that the person who's answering really is the person that's answering. It's not that you know I put in a fake name and answer for my friend. Um, but the other side of it is only people in your domain will be able to take the survey. So if I were to send this out, teachers in the Windsor and Main Enwell District could not answer my form if I have it checked because you have to be in the BT BOCES uh, domain. So it's up to you whether you want to check that or not. But there you go. That's how you send out your form to collect answers from your audience. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to email either Taylor or myself. Uh, and as always, thank you for watching.